Incoming transmission. Welcome watchers of Illusion to my Castle of Confusion, it's the 12th of October, my name's Rich, it's a retro revival show, it's another Snares classic, let's take a look. <laughs> Zombies Ate My Neighbours on the Super Nintendo by Konami and LucasArts, which is going to be turn out to be a bunch of fun. I've never actually played this game before, so this is a first for me. Let's see if there's an intro. Swirly reminds me of my intro. Talking of which, I have made a couple of slight modifications to that today. So I hope you, you enjoyed that. Some feedback would be great if you enjoy it. Uh, let me know. I've uh, messed about a little bit with the intro. So I'll bring it more up to date a little bit. So there we go. Anyway, let's crack on. We've chosen to play as the girly in this. And, and I guess basically what we've got to do is run around and looks like we've just got to save the neighbours from the zombies. Okay, simple enough. Why a zombie apocalypse? Why are these people flipping burgers? I have no idea. So, when the zombies come knocking, flip a few burgers. That's quite a neat little effect. Okay. So, okay, so... Oh, that's cool. Oh, there's a zombie. Ace. Okay. Right, so we have this, um... I don't know, it looks like a dart gun or something. That we can explode them with, which is great. You can see where everybody is, that's nice. So we go just go and run over people and they vanish and give us some healthy points there. Uh, you'd think these guys would be running away instead of having a barbecue, but there you go. That's, uh, that's what it must have been like in the era of this game. It's very pretty, very pretty game, I have to say. It's, it's, the animations are nice as well, it's very cartoony. It kind of reminds me of a sort of a predecessor to Grab by the Ghoulies, if anyone remember playing that. Um, which came out on the original Xbox, which is brilliant. And that was by Rare, I believe, who also bought us Donkey Kong Country on the SNES, but they they signed an exclusivity deal with that one, but never mind. So, I really like this, actually. I love the fact when you go in the swimming pool, you kind of underwater, you can see the bubbles, you can see where you are, that kind of thing. So I imagine that the game, the level will end once you've actually grabbed all of the, um, the people and animals that you've got to save on the level. Uh, I don't know if there's any room for error. I don't know what happens if any of them get eaten. Um, let's hope it doesn't come to that. But it looks like we've picked up some ammunition on the way around, so that's quite cool. It looks like we've got different weapons and stuff that you can muck about with. I think that's quite nice. There we go. We uh, shows you. Oh, there we go. We saved everybody. Yay! So you get a bonus for saving people. That's really quite nice. Uh, the music's great. I love the cartoony style of everything as well. Kind of reminds me of my intro a bit. Some of this. Um, I, I really like this game. First time I've ever played it. I've, I'm probably people are going out there like, come on, Rich, what have you been playing at? Why have you never played Zombies Ate My Neighbours? Simple fact, I'm just I just at the time, I probably think, didn't think it appealed to me very much, but there we go, I'm getting drunk now. That's got, oh, it's a speed buff. Excellent. And now I've got a rocket launcher as well. Fantastic. So, yeah, it looks like you can utilize different weapons in the game. There you go, there's a map there. I just have to bring up by randomly pushing my buttons. Um, I love the fact you can use the scenery to get yourself around as well. So you can use the trampoline to bounce over the fences, you can use the swimming pool to get from one end to another. There we go, that's a really nice quote of effect as well. So as she uh, jumps towards you, she gets bigger. Ace! Some real attention to detail, and I think you can kind of see the inspiration and all that behind. They've taken, you know, where Donkey Kong came from. I mean, they use, they, they've got such a good sort of knowledge and representation of a cartoony type game. This is a brilliant game. Lucas Arts. It's, it's it's odd, you know, because of LucasArts, Lucas Arts, you think of Star Wars. 
but this is obviously not Star Wars. But I mean, makes you wonder if this is kind of the um, inspiration behind any any f future games in this sort of ilk, as it were. But I love this. It uses like shoot the zombies, and they're all <laughs> they're all, <laughs> all identical. Hmm. They must have all shopped at the same store when they were alive, I suppose. But you can see here there's bonus items to collect as well. So you've got money, coins, blah, blah, blah. So you've got lots of stuff to uh, to pick up and get your bonus points with. You've got other weapons you can grab, which is nice, because having just the one would be dull and very monotonous. But there you go. See different people hiding in different places. Oh, that zombie just came out of nowhere. So you can see it's a very... It, I mean, you've got a, a hell of a, a large level scape to walk around. That's quite nice as well. Let's see if we can uh, find some other people to save. But just the level of details on here are really, really good. And the fact you can't actually open the doors until... Um, you can't actually open the doors until you've got the keys. I guess that makes a lot of sense. Hmm. So I guess we've got to find the key before we can move on. Let's see if we can find that. Okay, right. So... Looking at this, we're going around a garden at the moment. I wonder if there's, there's probably going to be other levels. I don't know if there's like there's got to be a shopping mall level. There has to be because that's that's just like classic zombie, um, zombie esque stuff, especially from the Romero era of movies. If you remember, uh, Dawn of the Dead in the in the shopping mall. So there's got to be a shopping mall scene in this game. There has to be. I'll be disappointed if there isn't. So I'm going to try and give you guys a bit of a playthrough on this as well. Uh, see how far we can get. I don't really want to drag on too long, as you know. I don't like to uh, go on for too long with these games. But also, uh, for while I remember, um, big hello to new subscribers. It's great to have you along. Hope you are enjoying the channel. I do try and get at least three reviews a week done, and we're almost on the big fifty, guys. Almost there. I think we're one subscriber away from fifty. So that's fantastic. So thanks very much for uh, joining us and having a good time with the channel. And I really hope you enjoy the content that's already here and the content that's to come. And while I quickly think about this, um, I, I have had a request to do NARC on the ZX Spectrum. I have to say, I have tried. I have, but it just keeps crashing. Every time I load the game, it just crashes. So until I can get a working copy of that one, that's on the back burner. I haven't forgotten about it. But uh, if you've got a backup game that you want me to play, let me know. Um, that, and that also brings me to another point. If you guys have games you would like to see me play through and have a go at and drop a review, uh, please get in touch. You've, there's, uh, you can get on, on my uh, actual channel here. Leave me a message in the comments with a game that you'd like to see and the system it was on. And I'll see if I can uh, dig it out of the vaults. Um, you can also get me on Facebook. If you look for the Retro Revival show, uh, there are details at the end of the videos anyway, but uh, yes, you can find me and at Retro underscore Reviewer on Twitter. You should be able to find me anyway. All the details at the end of the vid, promise. So back to the review. So you can see everything's really nice. The colours are really nice. There's no clashing and there's no sort of garish colour schemes as you sometimes get in these types of games. Uh, everything's really smooth. It's a very easy... Um, mission statement really get from one end to the other rescue as many people as you can while not getting eaten by zombies yourself sounds easy doesn't it but it's not actually that easy um, like I said this is the first time I've ever played this so I imagine it's like level 2 we're not exactly going to get absolutely swamped by um, zombies at this point but that's not to say it's not going to happen I do have to wonder what she's shooting now I thought it was a water pistol but I'm not sure it was like a nerf gun or something like that, perhaps. I don't know. But the zombies are uh, definitely a constant threat. As you saw then, I just killed one and another one instantly took its place. Now, there's there's places in the scenery you can actually use the weapons to blow holes in, like there. So you can actually get into new sections of the level. I think that's quite nicely done as well. But you've got to conserve your ammunition because, obviously, if you need to get through somewhere... There you go, there's a ranged weapon there. So a pack of Coke cans. Or something along those lines. Something fizzy. Yes. Oh, there's a character we haven't got yet. Ah, there we go. There's the missing uh, human I needed to save. So let's go through the exit and on to level three. See where we're going now. Did I did I save everybody that time? I hope so. Yeah, all victims saved. Yeah, so you get a bonus for saving everybody, which is nice. You get three lives, as you can see there. 
Let's have a quick look at the uh, screen layout. Oh, these, they don't get merry. Oh, yeah. Terror in aisle five. Oh, this sounds like supermarket mayhem to me. Here we go. There's two soldiers there. And they're not shooting their guns. Oh, you see, now we're getting a little bit more intense with the zombies. Uh, you can see there's a lot more of them now. What? Why is that baby on the escalator? I mean, seriously. I love the animation. He actually looks like a zombie himself, the way he's walking around like that. B baby walking. I don't know. Unattended. Where's your mother? Anyway, so you can see there I pick a, picked up a pair of shoes. I've got to think that's kind of some sort of speed or movement uh, bonus there. Uh, you can see, I mean, well, <laughs> you can got, got ask yourself why are these cheerleaders just randomly cheerleading in a store, in the garden. I mean, you can sort of understand that, but there's some very random placements here. So you can see everything's smashed to pieces there. The zombies are broken in. Oh, what the hell? Oh, no. It's, it's just some... Is that sort of like an imp or something? There's um, some sort of a little demon child running around with an axe. That's not fun. That's actually, and then they, that he hurts. Actually, look at my energy levels now. So if you combine them with the zombies, and they actually make a conscious effort to actually chase you, where the zombies will only chase you if they see you. Whereas those little guys, once they've clamped eyes on you, they they are relentless. They will not stop. I bet I guess that's good though, because otherwise it's just shambling zombies. And yeah, okay, they do. Oh, you can. Can you kill them? <laughs> I'll just run against him for a bit. Uh, the zombies are a threat, but only, like I said, if they see you, but once they lose sight of you again, they stop. Whereas those little guys with the axes, they tend to, by the look of it, they tend to just try and completely lock onto your location and are relentless. They will not let you go. So you can, you can kill them, though. You can. Yay! That's always a bonus. So you can see here I'm picking up ammunition for stuff. There's another couple of those. Oh, no, he's killed two of the people I needed to save. That's, that's just bad. But I have found a key which means I can get to other areas now. I think it's just really nicely done. Has anyone, anybody owned this game back in the day? Because I, I didn't, as I said earlier on, but some of you might have actually owned this game. And what, what are your thoughts on it? Because I'd really like to know what you guys think about the games that I'm reviewing. If you played them yourselves, it's always good to hear what you guys think of the games. And I really love reading your comments. And I always reply as well. So please don't be shy. Leave us a comment. Uh, keep it constructive, <laughs> please. And polite. Um, and like I said, any games you want to see reviewed, I'm more than willing to do it if I've got the means and necessary games to do it. I, uh, as you can see, I do cover a wide spectrum of games, uh, including the spectrum, ironically. So, anyway, Zombies Ate My Neighbours. Not sure if they did a sequel to this or not. Um, if anyone knows the answer to that one, let me know. Can't open that door for some reason, even though I've got a key. Maybe the keys only open certain doors. But anyway. I'm going to leave it there, folks. Um, this has been the Retro Revival Show. I've been Rich. This has been Zombies Ate My Neighbours. And on the Super Nintendo. And I really hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in. Really appreciate it. And I'll catch you in the next review. Take care, everybody. Bye for now.